Hey guys, welcome to, to Laura's Cozy Corner. Um, the guys came in today and did quite a bit. They knocked off my mudroom and my pantry. And they've uh, taken off a lot of siding on the other side. So, also, while the guys was out here, they said, I keep hearing a cat meowing out back in your backyard. I said, oh, really? And so, I come out to see if I could find it. And it wasn't Hoppy. Hoppy was in his room. I said, you guys sure it's not my cat that you hear? Because the window was, you know, open for the screen. They said, no. We hear it out back. Well, I go uh, next door, and they've been working on that house for a long time, you know, a year and a half or so. And their yard is just grown up tall grass up to your knees, and things that trip over, and water puddles everywhere, and it was a mess. But I went back there and kind of stood and kind of looked and I saw something move and it was solid black and it was a teeny tiny kitten so a lot of times you can't get close to feral cats but I eventually worked my way over I think it was just tired from meowing all day and uh, I eventually got to it I was able to pick it up it hissed at me, <laughs> but its little claws didn't hurt or anything. I put it right next to my chest, and it calmed down right away. I bring it over here, and I asked one of the guys if any of those guys want it, and they're saying no, and I take it in the house, and of course, Hank fell in love with it. Parker fell in love with it, so I think we have adopted a cat, a kitten. We found out it's a male, and his name's going to be Rocco. <laughs> He's in the house asleep now, but uh, I'll get to show you guys some other time. Here's my chickens. They're still doing good. This morning, I put water in their uh, grower starter feed because they have been kicking it out and it's all over the ground as you can tell. Hi babies! If you can see, they just kick it all on the ground and don't really eat it. Hi! Hi babies! Jean, no. So they're liking the pecking. This food's lasting a lot longer. <coughs> No. So. Things last a lot longer for you guys, huh? Yeah. Hi, babies. How you doing? Uh -oh. Hi, 
Hi, babies. Yeah. So I've named the rooster Rudy. We've named one of these Polka, and, and the other one dot. is Dot. <laughs> so. Open it and let me pet them. They might smell the kitty on me. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi. Good morning or afternoon. Hi. They're like, what is this that gets in front of me? Oh, yeah. One of them's got a dark part on their beak. I think that one's Dot. The other one's Polka. <laughs> that one's Dot with a little red. This one? That one's... Yeah. That one's Dot and that one's Polka. The one with the And then Rudy. Rudy's over here. Hey, buddy. Come on. <laughs> so, that's what's going on at our little neck of the woods. Hope you guys are enjoying the sunshine. I'm fixing to go over here and, whew, I don't know, it's kinda hot. But I'm gonna go over here today since I got a little bit of time and it's not as wet and plant my three fruit trees over there, hopefully. My potatoes, up. I keep covering them up because they keep coming back up. I was getting it from that side and pouring it on top. And two little pea plants are doing good. Elderberries, I need to get them in the ground too, but I think I'm gonna wait until they are done with our siding around the house. And I've got two other plants here that I need to transplant in the garden. And hopefully here soon I'll be able to get full swing in the garden. So just lots going on. Um, we've got, y'all remember the building that we was working on? We moved everything from my pantry that's uh, tool wise into there. I've moved everything else food wise into the back bedroom and uh so i've been doing a lot of that a lot of that stuff's heavy and an easy way to handle heavy stuff when you're doing it on your own um, is to get plastic bags or boxes and fill up those bags and you can carry each bag yes it's a lot of steps and a lot of walking but you're saving yourself from having a hernia I've already had hernia surgery. I don't want another one. And uh, Hank was down with gout. So I had to do it, you know, in a timely matter. And that's what I come up with last night. He's got big toolboxes. And I figured out a way to take, a, take out the trays of each toolbox. There's a little metal piece on the side of the little racks. If you take a screwdriver and poke it in, then it'll allow the trays to come out. And then I'll just fix it back out when we fix the trays back in. So I was packing each tray, because they're each heavy. I couldn't pack the toolboxes. Then I could pack them after they was empty and get them into the, the tool shed. But he's... Uh, He's working on that now. Um, we're still crammed up in our kitchen. <laughs> and things, uh, maybe I can give you guys a peek of the little kitten. I've been holding it and I've, it's really tiny. And what I done was took a little top off of a container. One of my little glass containers like this little top and I put a little handful of food in it poured a little water on it to make the food soft and he just ate right on so 
can see. <laughs> I put a little um, like food, like takeout food tray. Put a little tray of that in there with some cat litter and I put his little paws in it and, you know, scratched it. That's how you get them to train, kitty, kitty litter train. So, and I put a little um, mat that come from the, sorry, from the uh, cat tree in there. Put a little mat in there so that if he feels the fur, maybe he'll sleep on it. No, as you all can see, which I hope you saw, he's sleeping in the cat litter box crazy cat I have a tote that he's in I put some weight on top but I've left a crack so he can breathe and he's not able to climb out yet because our dog <laughs> he's been really you know worried about it right he said this is my house and you're bringing more animals to my house but so i had to move everything out of out of here and i sat it in the basket and scooted the basket over because it's too heavy to move this thing with everything on it. And then I moved the microwave and I moved the air fryer, the bread box, you know. That's how you have to do it when it's you by yourself. You know, you can't pick up heavy items or anything. You gotta think outside the box. And uh, where I had to do it myself, um, it's just easier to do it that way for me. Even the deep freeze, it was outside in the mud room. I took bags and put all kinds of food in each bag, set it up here, and I just filled up this area here. And then got that emptied halfway through, and we was able to scoot it in here. Hank was able to get up today and help me scoot that in here. And then I just put the freezer food right back in there. I'm, I'll go through it some other time. So, we're all cramped. I'm just showing you guys. So then the little kitten we got. I did. I put the, I put the camera, in there. camera in there. Yeah, there we go. Phone? Yeah. Thanks, Brain. <laughs> so, Brain. as you can tell, I'm very much jam-packed. Everything's in here. I can't get to my clothes now, so, but I do have clean clothes hanging on the clothesline, so I'll get those in the dryer, and we'll have clean clothes, but I had to move all this stuff around because they're going to be putting a new window in back here. <laughs> That's why I've been busy, and I haven't been videoing, um, I don't even think about getting the camera out to show you guys me moving stuff and to help you ladies, you know, think you can't do anything. If you can move little things, you can do it just a few steps at a time. You don't have a shirt on Parker, but <laughs> that's why I haven't showed Parker much, but <clears throat> and where I was down for three days with my lady problem that put me behind. And then this weekend, last past weekend, we had a party to go to, everything like that. Um, our ceiling is still hasn't fell down anymore, but you know, it, there's a big tile that has fell down, plus all the insulation. Um, I was keeping containers and so that was our storage for really light things. And so some of that has fell. It's not me throwing trash around. It's all supposed to be clean. And I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it in recycle anyway. Because uh, 
now it's been with the insulation and everything and who knows what else up there uh, with our raccoons and the squirrels and mice problems, you know. Mice plant. Parker? No. That's a Venus flytrap container I kept. So all that's going to go to the recycle. Um, just haven't got to it yet. Um, what else? I'm upset with Poppy because the home that he came from the cats just peed wherever they wanted to okay they had like 13 different cats yeah. well the past three days even when i've been down and i've been trying to move stuff and everything i walk in here and i smell cat pee from you because you're hanging out up here it's upsetting me and in the cat box, there's no pee. And he has pooped in here. He's coming over here to eat and he's coming over here to drink. And then he turns around and hangs out up there and I can't find pee. So guess what? I'll have to go through every single bit of this to find out where he's peeing at and get rid of it. It's really upsetting me. Oh. I just gotta find a good time to do it. There's just so much going on. Hoppy, I wish you'd pee in the potty. Yep. In, in your cat box. In your cat box is where it's supposed to go. I've combed him recently for free fleas and... Flea? <laughs> it's flea. I still need to check King, but... Poppy doesn't have any. He just freaks out and bites on himself. I don't know what's going on, but when I combed him, there was a few little um, scabs that come with the comb. Just, the, you know, the little bitty scabs, but okay. I think that's all my update. I'm going to go try oh, and yeah, I'm going to go try and plant my fruit trees because they need to really get in the ground so they can spread out and start growing. And Hank's in there working on his tool shed. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.